I'm with Sheree Hutchison, the farm manager here at Jellique Farm. And my name's Belle Baker from Adelaide Hills Farm Services. So I met Belle only recently when we looked at doing a kangaroo fence here on the property. We've actually suffered quite a lot of crop loss here um, in the last few recent years. In fact, over 70% of our yield particularly our roses. So we came to you, Belle, and you've yeah. come up with a bit of a solution. Yeah, so it did take some uh, conversation. We worked out what would work on the organic farm that you've got here, mm. and we came up with a really unique solution for you. Yeah, so I believe the fence is just a fraction taller than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's about my height. Yep. Uh, it's about 1.7 mm -hmm. high, but it also has uh, an apron at the bottom because kangaroos are prone to pushing through the bottom of the fence first. So yep. that's really the spot we needed to stop them pushing through. <laughs> that's actually been uh, really important to address because we found that the the younger kangaroos were actually doing the damage, not the bigger ones. And we were really worried about them sneaking through um, any type of farm fence. I just have to mention as well, Adam Hall, our plant specialist here at Jalique, was in imperative to get this to happen. I've worked yeah. here for nine years and I just kind of gave up. Um, and seeing the roses suffered like they were, it was just, it was actually quite emotional. Yeah. You, you invest in your property, you invest in what you do. So when Adam Hall first approached, uh, approached us, he spoke to pods and and Pods was going, oh yeah, no, there's a farm, it's organic, it's on the outskirts of Mount Bar Barker and it's a beautiful spot. Um, we might go along and see them. And I went, oh really, organic farm? Where could, you know, who's, oh, something called Julique. And I went, really? <laughs> that is awesome because I love the Julique products. So I really feel like we've got some buy and some ownership of what we actually, what I use and what so many of my friends are getting for Christmas presents this year. <laughs> the kangaroo exclusion fence we have here behind me is, uh, a Cyclone 15-150-15 with a 300mm apron, but more importantly, with Jerlique being an organic property, they've elected to uh, use the wood shield posts, and the wood shield posts are a recycled product made of uh, recycled plastic coating, and then untreated pine within the uh, interior of the post. They are also 30% stronger than your conventional CCA or creosote post and with this added strength means that you can use a diameter post a little less than what we would normally use if we were indeed using the CCA slash creosote post. What's been actually really interesting and, and quite lovely is working with locals and when, when you think about Jolique Farm you think there's big corporate business yes. but we are a local business here. Um, you know, most of us are born and bred in the region, so to be working with someone that's local has been really, really great. You understand the complexities around our business and have been able to work in between. How's yeah. it been working with us in oh, return? Yeah, it's been wonderful. So even though Julique is a corporate, we've really found that between you and Adam Hall and the rest of your team here, you've been really inviting, you've welcomed us onto the property, and we've been, we've really felt like we've been part of the team and part of the solution. And well, yeah, you have been. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realise yeah. that all the ingredients in the Julique products all come from here. Mm, so we grow over 30 different botanicals here on the property. Wow. All Adelaide Hills always have been over yeah. 35 years. It's something that the region is really proud of and it's so yeah. nice to actually include the locals. But also we talked about um, protecting the roses. It's actually just not roses here. So no. we've had damage to our red clover crops because kangaroos, particularly the older kangaroos have damaged that. And that's a big ingredient in yeah. a lot of the products? Yes, it is, particularly yeah. our herbal recovery range. But if you're looking for legumes, particularly for farming, then they're eating them down, it could be it could be all sorts of different grasses. So it's not just crop, it's also about cover crops and actually looking after your property. Yes. Um, they have done, um, unfortunately, a bit of damage here. So putting a solution in place that is not only environmentally, um, but also protecting the animals too mm -hmm. and, and caring for them is, I think is quite important. Mm -hmm.